personnel that we had in the building today. Um, and then to, you know, the show that they put on is really impressive. And just the things that they're talking about with our players in terms of you know what what kind of guys they are, how they play, you know, physically how they're ready, you know. And so to see some of these guys, especially the guys who have been on the program for five years and the work they put in to be in this moment, it's pretty cool. Hey Ryan, you have already had success or gotten dividends from what you did with Dwayne last year when it came to Justin coming. But when you have a top five or a top ten NFL quarterback working out in front of all those scouts and you have testimony of having that now, which was one of the last positions you haven't had a first round pick in front of 40 years. What does Dwayne do? What does your work with Dwayne do do for the foundation of being able to recruit quarterbacks yeah. at that level? Yeah. It, it goes a long way, like I said, it's testimony. And, and we, we talked about it recruiting to a lot of people. And uh, we talked about what the plan was in terms of developing quarterbacks. And, and so we're, you know, we're proud of what Dwayne has done, and what we've done with the past game, and what he's done. And, and you know, hopefully we keep this thing going, moving going forward. But like you said, um, I think you know for recruits to see the way it's been developed and the way our pass game is developing, and not just at you know at, uh, at quarterback, but also at receiver. You know, just to see that the you know that stuff going on the field this year, the way we threw the ball, second in the nation and throwing the football, and we're proud of that. Hey, Ryan, good how, is it, how is it that you balance treating these guys like professionals and getting them ready for a day like today, and yet this is a college program and you want them to enjoy it like college kids would? How, how is that balance for you? Well, they're. They're, they're so serious about this because they know it has a lot to do with their future. Um, but at the same time, you know, they have to enjoy it because they've worked their whole lives for this and they have to take it in. And I think they can do that more when it's over. They can take a deep breath. Um, but but they, they work hard for this moment. And so, uh, you know, it's a big part of the piece of the puzzle. It's not everything. It's, you know, that we have the film and the combine and different things to tell the story for these for these guys. But uh, but this is obviously a part of it. It's it's good. to you about Dwayne's throwing and his receivers. I thought it looked natural. It didn't look forced. I think sometimes when you watch a quarterback, you're like, how is he going to throw? The way he threw the way he throws. Our receivers caught the way that they caught. Um, and you just saw Terry McLaurin and Johnny and those guys just work hard to go catch the ball and run really fast. I mean, that's what practice looked like. That's what routes on air looked like. And, and that's what it looked like today. So I think when it looks natural like that, it doesn't look forced. And that's just kind of the way that they throw and catch. It's pretty impressive. It's kind of bittersweet, too. I mean, to see all those passes. <laughs> completions, catches, touchdowns, going out the door. Yes, yeah. yes, especially by a sophomore. Yeah. Uh, so where's, where's the bar? The bar has been set, or how would you say? Yeah, it, it has been right? set for yeah. sure, absolutely. And we, and we have a certain expectation level that we come out on seven on seven, and we come out with the team pass, and we come out against the defense, and we come out, you know, our first game this season that, that we're throwing at eye level, and, and that's the expectation. These guys set that bar, and now we got to keep it going. Ryan, when you, you know, with your history in the NFL and you watch Dwayne, I mean, what do you see? Do you see this is a can't miss top five guy? I mean, like, what do you from the I see NFL? a very, very high ceiling. I see a guy who's natural throwing the football, his accuracy, his anticipation, his touch is some of the best I've been around. It looks like I said, he just plays catch. Um, some people don't do that. Uh, and the more experience he gets, the better he's going to be. Right, just that idea of what you're saying about accuracy and touch and playing catch like that. How important is that with the tight windows in the NFL? And you're saying not a lot of guys have that. What, how, how does a guy get that? What's difficult about developing that as a quarterback? I, I think some guys, you know, just have that certain ability to throw the ball naturally. And some guys are kind of self-made that way. Um, I think, you know, Dwayne's a natural throwing the football. It just makes sense to him. The game makes sense to him. The way he sees receivers run routes, the way the ball comes out of his hands. Uh, and he's a natural. Ryan, you mentioned the receivers multiple times. Just to see those three fifth-year guys out there on their play day, how did it feel? What did you see? Say to them, what was the way they developed? I'm just proud of those guys and the way that they put their work into the program. Which, you know, listen, uh, that's not the way it is for everybody. You know, some guys come out in three, some guys come out in four. But to see him come out, you know, see those guys come out after five years in a program, uh, a lot of people are proud of them. Did you get a chance to check in with Harris? Or just, how is he doing? Uh, I, I haven't, uh, but I think it was just something where he stuck his foot in the ground and, and just a precautionary thing. Ryan, I hate to do this. Uh, is there any roster updates or anything? Attrition? Uh, nothing right now. Okay. Yeah. Right. No problem. <laughs> Gotta try, right? <laughs> That's right. No problem. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Thanks,